Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 197 in the series of basic math. Today we'll have our 12th video, 12th lesson in the series of 15 on the topic of work time problem. On the topic of work time problems. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We have three actors, A, B, and C. We are told that A can take, A takes two hours to do a job, B can do the same job in three hours, we are told that C can do the same job in five hours. Two, three, and five. A takes two hours, B takes three hours, C takes five hours to do the same job, working at their constant paces. Question simply is, approximately how long will it take? That's very important to pay attention. They are looking for approximate answer. Approximately how long will it take if they were to work together at their respective paces? I'll give you five seconds now for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first and then we'll compare your work with the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Okay? Here we go. Alright. So what can we do here? We have two choices. One choice one choice is to solve this problem in a very academic, very classical, very orthodox, very traditional, very conventional, very geeky, very nerdy, very mathematical way. The way your math teacher will solve it. And the way is the quick and dirty way. The quick and dirty way is simple application of logical thinking. Let's just think logically, let's just think rationally and see, where, see how far we can get here. This guy takes two hours, this guy takes two, three hours, this guy takes five hours. What, what if B, okay, I'm not going to write everything so you have to listen carefully. What if B and C were to work as fast as A? If everybody worked as fast as A, because A takes two hours, since, and since we have three people, each of them takes two, if each of them took two hours, they should be able to knock out the job in two and two third hours. Because each person, each person will take, a, will, will, will do, will do a third of a job in that amount of time, and third plus a third plus a third will be the whole job. If you can do the job in two hours, give him a third of, Give him the third of the amount of time, he can do one third of the job, B can do one third of the job, C can do one third of the job. So that's the lower limit. It cannot take any lower than that. The total amount of time the job will take will have to be more than that amount. Anything less than that is nonsensical. It makes no sense. They cannot do it in two thirds of an hour because that assumes that everybody works as fast as A. The other extreme is five. If, if A and B, if A and B work as slow as slowly as C does, if A and B were to work as slowly as C does, in that scenario, the job should take as long as five and three third hours. So the, the amount of time that will take has to be less than that and has to be, the amount of time that will take has to be, the amount of time it will take has to be more than that rather. It has to be more than two third and less than five and third. Any answer choice that falls outside that range is nonsensical. It makes no sense. Let's see what we can do here. Two hours. You see, five and three, five, five third is is, is one and two third. It, it has to be more than this amount. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. The answer is one hour. It will take them. It will take them not exactly one hour, but approximately one hour. Approximately one hour. So that was more of a quick and dirty way. That uh, that method, that approach, it takes only a few seconds. That's the simple logical thinking tells you that the actual amount of time has to fall uh, between the two extremes, which is two-third and five-third. If you find any answer choice outside that range, knock, it, knock those out, they don't make any sense. They are nonsensical. Let's do it out together now, shall we? In the traditional method, in the traditional method, what we're looking for is a number that is a multiple of two, three, and five. It has to be a multiple of two, three, and five, and preferably, we would, we would like to have that number to be as low as possible. In other words, we are not simply looking for a multiplier, a common multiplier, but we would prefer to have it, but we would prefer to have the least common multiplier. The lower the better, the lower the multiplier, the less work we'll have to do. The least common multiplier that I can think of is, oh actually we could do 30. 30 can be divided by 2, it can be divided by 3, it can be divided by 5. Let's do 30. Let's do 30. In 30 hours, in 30 hours, a can do, we are told that A takes 2 hours. Give him 30 hours and he can do 15 jobs. Whatever the job is, if you, if you give him 30 hours, he can do 15 jobs. B takes 3 hours. In, in 30 hours, 
in 30 hours, B can do, B can do, well it takes 3 hours, if you give him 30 hours he can do 10 jobs. In 30 hours, if you give 30 hours to C to do the job, he takes 5 hours to do one job, give him 30 hours and he should be able to do 6 jobs. There you go. Together they can do 21 hours, 21 jobs, together, together, working together, they can do 21 jobs, 21 jobs in 30 hours. 21 jobs in 30 hours. Something has gone drastically wrong because if they, if, they, if they do 21 jobs, if they do 21 jobs in 30 hours, one job will take hour and a half. And as we said, it's not hour and a half, this is the only thing that is left here, one is the only one. It has to fall, even though, even though hour and a half does fall in that range, but hour and a half doesn't appear here. The one is the only answer to this is one and two thirds, too large, something is going wrong. Fifteen, in thirty hours A can do, it, it takes two hours to do the job, in thirty hours he can do fifteen jobs. B takes three hours, so he can do ten jobs. C, t C does, takes five hours, so in thirty hours he can do six jobs. 11, 1, oh, carry 1, there you go, carry 1, it's not, it's not 21 jobs, it's just 31 jobs, it is 31 jobs, so they can do 31 jobs in 3 hours, that implies, that implies that they can do 1 job, they can do 1 job in 30 over 31 hours, see what we had written, what I had written down before by mistake, I had 21 here, I had 21 here, had it been 21, then 30 divided by 21 would have been hour and a half, would have been hour and a half. Oh, for Christ's sake! Hour and a half, and that's not there. It's not. It's a good thing it's not there because otherwise, in my carelessness, I would have picked it. Because hour and a half actually is not out of the realms of possibility. These are beyond the realms of possibility. These are, as we said, nonsensical. It's just simply not possible. It is simply not possible that they can they, they, they can do the job. They can do the job. They will take as long as one and two third hours. One and two third hours is how long it will take them. If everybody were, if everybody were to work as slow as Mr. C, if A takes five hours, B takes five hours, and C takes five hours to do the job, then working together they will take five and two third hours. So anything more than uh, anything equal to one and two third or more is pure nonsense. Similarly, they, will not, they cannot do the job in two-thirds of an hour because everybody is not working as fast as Mr. A. It has to be between two-thirds and five and third, which is, so one and a half is not outside that range, but it, 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 luckily for us, it's not there. So it was 31. So one job will take 30 divided by 31, and 30 divided by 31 turns out is approximately one hour. One hour, which is exactly what we said before. It should take about an hour. It should take about an hour for them to do the job. And if you want, this is this is above and beyond. Okay, this is not necessary. This is nothing to do with the exam at all. This is just an observation that I'm making here, just just for the hell of it. You see, in one hour, because this guy takes two hours, in one hour he will do 50% of the job. This guy takes three hours. In one hour he will do 33% of the job, approximately. And this guy takes five hours, so if you give him one hour, Mr. C, in one hour, can do 20% of the job. As you can see, it's 103%. And the reason why it's coming out to be 103% because we are approximating. It's not 31 over 30. It's not 31 over 30. It's 30 over 31. It's little less than one hour. In reality, it will take them little less than one hour. Give them one hour, give them exactly one hour, and they can do actually, they, if you want to be precise, they can do exactly 100. 103 and one third percent in exactly one hour. Anyway, that was above and beyond, that was not necessary. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.